Hello. The subject of Falun Gong, or Falun Dafa, is highly controversial these days. Although there's many followers around the world, the Falun Gong organization is surrounded by a cloak of secrecy, and its members have been hiding their status. Although their ideals seem peaceful and spiritual, we found that some people believe Falun Gong may be a cult, and the idea may be backed by some political motivation. We took our investigative production team to the streets of Washington, D.C. to find out what is the opinion of the people on the streets regarding the Falun Gong movement. So, is Falun Gong a cult or a legitimate religion? You decide for yourself. This is our report. Here. I Why? speak Chinese. Chinese? Yes. Okay, I, do you speak English? No. A, a little bit? So are you protesting? You speak Chinese, you know? You speak Chinese, okay? Okay. You know? so, yeah. you're, so you're against Falun Gong, yes? We're against the master. Why? For me, Falun Gong, I, what I do know is that it was started in North China um, in, I think, the early 90s, and it just sprung out from there. Now, if it sprung out because of the results that people can see in other people's lives, then that would be good. The part that I'm not sure about is the secrecy part of it, because from what I understand, it's, it's a pretty close-knit um, secret society, kinda, and that's where I guess it's a little concerning because anything that operates in secrecy and it alienates is a little dangerous or is a little, um, is something to be cautious of. At this point, it's comparable to um, um, Scientology or any of the other ones that, you know, they, they bring in people, they say, listen, this is what we're teaching and you can't share it. it it's like that late night commercial um, where they, um, they'll tell you that they um, sign up and they can show you how to sell property or something. But it's so good that you shouldn't tell your friends or family because they'll discourage you. Anything that says or anything that pushes for you to keep it quiet and for you to, um, for you to be in isolation, I think it's preying on weakness. So that's the part that we have to be very cautious about. <laughs> Uh, I would say it's a quasi-religion that the Chinese government has designated as a cult. This is a banned cult and I do not blame people who don't want to know because a great number of the many, many revolutions in Chinese society has endured came about from some sort of religious movement. Is there many religions in China? Uh, many religions in China actually, they are those are profit. They have to register with the government. Uh, like they have underground, they have Christians, and you know, they have Buddhists, and have their other other religions. But you have to under register with the, the, uh, uh, the government. Uh. <laughs> I feel like it, 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 it sprung out because of, um, I don't want to say negative publicity, but it's, I think the, 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 the information is out there because of the wrong reasons. Yeah, I heard about it, but it just seems so like secret. Though. I don't, I don't know like the details of it, but it just seems 
But it all seems weird. You know. So Only a little bit, I don't know too much. But when I think about it, I asked, like I went up to them and I was like curious as to like why or what were they doing and they just kind of shook their head and didn't say what they were doing. So it's very secretive um, is what I get. I think there are some uh, Westerners who do Falun Gong, but uh, I don't think it's a large percentage. Have you seen the, the, the Falun Gong uh, practitioners, the, the big group uh, in, in, in the park? Falun Gong, Gong, yeah, yeah, I think I've heard of that actually. I seen them park, uh, they were down here at the park a couple days ago. I was wondering what that was about. Falun Gong, yeah, that sounds familiar. Interesting. So, uh, uh, what do you, have you, have you talked to them? Have you, have you approached no, them? No, no, it looks kind of, looks kind of sketchy. I don't know, it looks like some kind of a cult or something. I don't know. Looks why, why, why would you say that? I don't know, it's just like a, a huge group of people, like all doing the same stuff, like following, like, I don't know, just that kind of cult shit is weird to me. Like, I don't get it, I think it's strange. Yeah. It's all very confusing. I don't know too much. I mean, it just kind of seems like some massive following each other. I really have no idea. A cult. Oh, it seems like do you, do you think it's a cult? Does it look like a cult to you, or is it more like a religion? Or what do you think it is? When I think about it, when a large mass of people like are following each other with no purpose besides maybe religion or music, it definitely looks like a cult. And this is my this is my fundamental problem with Falun Gong, my fundamental problem with anything that preys on the weak, is that if you're lost and you, you need a, a belief system to give your life meaning and support, then I feel like anything that preys on that and preys on people that are hollow inside that needs that, that fulfillment, I think it's something to be cautious of. I think it's something that we need to be afraid of. And definitely that is one of the main things that cults prey on. And I'm not saying Falun Gong is cult, but I'm saying that if, you're, if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, we gotta be careful because it might quack. <laughs>